are looking live right now. That is from our Far Bureau, Interstate 2 there at the bottom of your screen. Just a few fair weather clouds out there this midday. We've got a lot of sunshine, temperatures warming up nicely, and the breeze is starting to pick up as well. We've already seen wind gusts over 30 miles per hour. There is a look at South Texas College in McAllen, seeing the same type of deal there as far as some of those uh, fair weather clouds around. So for today, we're going to see those numbers up around 80 to 82 degrees or so for inland areas. With those south winds continuing to gust up around 30 to 35 miles per hour. Low to mid 70s as you go out towards the coastal areas and winds a little bit stronger there. And we're going to see those breezy conditions into tomorrow as well. So here's future cast for the rest of the afternoon. Still looking at four o'clock, some of those 20 or 25 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts up around 35 to 40 along the coast, but starting to taper off west to east as we go into the evening hours after sunset tonight. They'll drop off quite a bit and we'll see the winds up around 10 to 15 miles per hour by daybreak tomorrow, and then they'll pick up again for tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. Lows tonight with all that humidity continuing to be on increase will only drop into the upper 50s to lower 60s. That's going to put us a good 10 plus degrees above normal for our overnight lows with those south winds at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Our uh, next uh, or looking out on the island here first, that's going to be 73 degrees today. Rip current risk is low as surf at 62 degrees. That's chilly water out there and running about two to four feet looking at a high tide at 748 this afternoon. The next weather maker is the cold front. Now we've got uh, warm temperatures today, warm temperatures tomorrow, and then it's going to come to a uh, screeching halt early on Thursday morning. So tomorrow evening, the front will be moving through central Texas. Behind it, winds will shift to the north, and they will be strong behind the front. And you're definitely going to notice this when the front makes its way through early on Thursday. Much like we saw this past weekend, it's the rattle the windows type of wind that we're going to have behind this front as it moves southward. This is Arctic air. So that means the temperature is going to fall very quickly behind the front, starting out right around 60 or so on Thursday morning, falling into the 40s for uh, Thursday afternoon. The rain chances will start to pop up as well. So we'll have rain along the front uh, as far as some showers, and then that will move out of the area. We'll have a little bit of a break, and then we have upper level energy out over the southwestern U.S. That's going to dig a little bit further south and then eject eastward across the state. So that's going to give us lift ahead of that area of low pressure to go along with this cold air. And it's going to be a cold rain for Thursday evening into Friday morning. And there is going to be a little window from late Thursday and early Friday to see some wintry mix up towards our north, it looks like now. Could be as far south as Laredo, Corpus Christi, where they could see some freezing rain drizzle, that sort of thing, some snow mixed in. For us, it looks like right now it will stay rain. But I will say this, it's going to be close on Friday morning as I have our valley average low down to 34 degrees. So we're going to have to watch that real closely. Once this area of low pressure moves far enough east, the rain will come to an end. And I think that's going to be during the day on Saturday. We see, see the chances start to drop off and that uh, cold air will stay in place all the way through the upcoming weekend. Here is a look at those uh, temperatures. This is going to be for Thursday afternoon. Those, again, those temperatures falling into the 40s. Those rain chances will be going up as well. And we could see some areas picking up one to two inches in some isolated spots. You get any some of those heavier downpours. That's through 7 o'clock on Saturday evening. There is your seven day forecast then with the weekend always in view. And it's going to be a warm one today, a warm one tomorrow. And then we have the bottom fallout. Now I've got 34 circled on Friday morning because that's going to be the one that we're going to have to watch very closely because that with rain is not a good combination once it drops to 32.